Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Welcome. What do you think you should do to bring yourself good luck? Cultures differ among themselves on how to bring good luck and get rid of negative feelings in their lives. Some believe that sprinkling salt around the rooms of the house drives away evil spirits. And there are others who see black cats as a bad omen and bring bad luck. But in Thailand, they have a rather strange culture, and they have some customs that are different from the rest of the world. There's a custom of tossing coins into a lake in Thailand to bring good luck, but does this not seem strange? Is it not? That's not all, because they believe that in order to ward off coins in the lake for good luck, there must be a tortoise in the lake. According to this belief, everything is fine as long as the turtle is alive. We all know that the turtle is a long-lived animal. Thousands of tourists flock to this lake who came to watch the coins thrown into the pool. And not only that, but they also throw it and apply this habit so that their journey is happy. Although this act does not seem harmful, its consequences were dire as the authorities in Chanburi region began to develop the area and thus exterminate the habitat of various animals. One of the volunteers handed over these endangered turtles to the Sea Turtle Conservation Center in Thailand. Among these tortoises was a tortoise that resides in the most visited pond ever, but it did not look well. After extensive studies and examinations on it, veterinarians discovered that there was something strange inside the tortoise. The tortoise was about 25 years old, and it seemed that she had a deformity in her stomach, as if she'd been exposed to something that had badly damaged her stomach because she was in pain and moved slowly, and her weight was very heavy. It's known that throwing of coins and fountains is a gesture to propitiate luck. However, it did not bring much good luck to the turtle operated in Thailand for swallowing more than 900. The 25-year-old tortoise was forced to go under the knife for seven hours to remove five kilograms of coins, swallowed among those thrown as a sign of good luck, in the pond where she lives, in Conservation Center in the eastern city of Sriracha. Renamed for obvious reasons Piggy Bank, a 25-year-old female green sea turtle had obvious difficulty swimming. For this reason, she was transferred to the veterinary clinic of Chunnel Longcorn University, where experts with great amazement discovered that five kilos of coins had accumulated in her stomach. The cluster, in addition to the natural difficulties in movement, was causing her an infection that would have put her life at risk. There were 915 coins in his stomach. We removed them one by one, said Nantrika Chansu, a veterinarian at Chunga Longcorn Hospital Aquatic Research Center. Piggy Bank is fine, but he'll have to stay in the clinic for two weeks, he added. During convalescence in the animal hospital in Bangkok, he will have to follow a liquid diet for at least two weeks. The reptile lived for 20 years in a small public park in the province of Chonburi. A turtle lives to be 80 years old and is believed that throwing coins into the pond of a turtle prolongs the life of those who do it, said the rector of the veterinary faculty at Chungalonghorn University, Rungraj Thanawang Nuvej. But throwing coins is rather bad karma because it tortures the animals. The death of a sea turtle named Bank has been attributed to difficulty following surgery to remove roughly 1,000 coins she swallowed while in custody, according to veterinarians in Thailand. Doctors at Bangkok's Chulalongkorn University's veterinary facility confirmed that the loose change was the cause of the death, which they attributed to blood poisoning. She had the opportunity to swim freely and eat contentedly before she passed away, according to Dr. Nantirika Shansu, who performed a lengthy operation on the turtle on March 6 to remove five kilograms of coins from her stomach before she died. According to Chansu, the veterinary in charge of Chulalongkorn's Hospital's Aquatic Research Center, the patient died peacefully at 10.10 a.m. She's my buddy, teacher, and patient, Shansu said of the turtle. The turtle's plight was first brought to the public's attention last month, and members of the public contributed approximately 15,000 baht, or about 350 pounds, towards her surgery. The coins were retrieved over the course of four hours by five doctors from Chulalongkorn University's veterinary faculty, where the turtle was anesthetized. Because the quantity of coins was too large to be removed through a 10-centimeter incision, they had to be removed one coin at a time, one by one. Many of them had corroded or been substantially dissolved by the time they arrived. Chansu admitted that she was enraged when she found what caused the turtle's misery. 
During the time of the incident, the veterinarian expressed his displeasure with humans for having caused harm to the turtle, regardless of whether they intended to do so or whether they did so without thinking. The animal appeared to be doing well following the operation at first, but a recheck on Saturday revealed that it was suffering from intestinal difficulties. Following another surgery, Bank was declared dead on Tuesday morning after failing to awaken during the first operation. Bank lived in a public pond in Chonburi Province, about 110 miles southeast of Bangkok, for more than two decades. The turtle consumed 915 coins that tourists tossed into the pond, according to the local newspaper. Eventually, the money accumulated to form a mass that caused Bank's shell to shatter. People who toss money into ponds where animals live, say veterinarians, will be more cautious in the future because of media coverage of the afflicted species. Actually, there are more ways that kill turtles every day besides the coins, like plastic, too. What causes sea turtles to consume plastic? Plastic bags have a similar appearance to jellyfish, while fishing nets have a similar appearance to delectable seaweed. In reality, sea turtles are ingesting hazardous compounds into their digestive tracts while they believe they are ingesting some of their main nutrients. Due to human activity, the chances of these ancient seafarers surviving has been significantly reduced. Almost all sea turtle species are categorized as endangered, and plastic is causing more than its fair share of harm to these magnificent creatures. What happens to sea turtles as a result of plastic pollution? Ingesting plastics is not a harmless error. In fact, the consumption of this man-made material has been shown to cause the death of sea turtles. This is due to the fact that plastic can induce obstructions in their intestines and even puncture the intestinal wall, resulting in internal bleeding in some instances. The most unpleasant of all possible outcomes is when the plastic in the turtle's stomach simulates the sense of being suffocated. Turtles then fail to seek out alternative food sources, and as a result, they perish from famine. It's unfortunate that turtles are threatened not only by the eating of plastic, but also by becoming entangled in plastic trash where they run the risk of choking to death, losing limbs, and overall harming themselves, sometimes beyond repair. In and of itself, the fishing industry poses a major hazard. Despite the fact that turtles are excellent swimmers, they frequently become entangled in fishing gear, and once weighed down, they are unable to surface and die as a result. The gloomy outcome was as follows sea turtles that have been injured or killed. In recent years, the global turtle population has seen a significant decline, which has been attributed in large part to the use of plastic. In a study undertaken by the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization CSIRO, and the University of the Sunshine Coast USC, researchers discovered that eating just one piece of plastic increased the likelihood of death by a turtle by 22%. Having 14 plastic things in the stomach of a turtle increased the likelihood of it dying by 50%, according to the study. Dr. Kathy Townsend, a marine biologist at the University of Sunshine Coast, explains that even a single piece of plastic can be fatal to a turtle. In our research, we discovered that two of the turtles had consumed only a single piece of plastic, which was enough to kill them. In one case, the gut had been pierced, while in the other, soft plastic had plugged the digestive tract. The researchers used a sample of roughly 1,000 turtles that had been found dead and washed up on beaches throughout Australia for their research. It's believed that around 52% of all sea turtles have consumed plastic throughout their lifetimes around the world. Another study conducted by the University of Exeter in England looked into how plastics affect the mortality rates of sea turtles around the world. 91% of turtles that became entangled in abandoned fishing gear died, according to the researchers' findings. In fact, of the 106 marine specialists who responded to the survey, 84% stated that they had personally witnessed turtles being killed as a result of plastic pollution. To top it all off, it's extremely possible that all the data presented above are at best conservative estimates. Each estimate is based on the number of turtles that have been discovered, although many deceased sea turtles are never retrieved. Many turtles simply perish at sea and are never seen again and even those that are found on beaches are caught and sold as food for humans. What Australia's plastic crisis looks like and what can be done to stop it? Despite the fact that Australians use an average of 130 kilograms of plastic per year, just 12% of that plastic is recycled. Even more terrifying is the fact that up to 130,000 tons of plastic will make their way into the ocean. 
Every 60 seconds, we dump the equivalent of one garbage truck's worth of garbage into the ocean, which is a record. According to research, for every kilogram of plankton in the water, there are six kilos of plastic in the same place. If things continue as they are, by 2050, there may be more plastic in the world's oceans than fish, according to the World Oceans Council. According to Dr. Kamar Shiler, a marine scientist at the University of Queensland, at the moment, plastics are being generated at an exponentially expanding rate, but internationally our trash disposal technology and capacity are not increasing at the same rate. We now know that hidden microplastics are entering the water via a variety of sources, such as cosmetics we use, garments we wear, and fractured bigger plastic particles. We will only see the problem grow in severity if we do not take significant action. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.